Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel so in the second video we're going to be installing a bunch of tools which do not come pre-installed in Kali so let's open up a terminal here and do one thing which I actually forgot in the previous video and that would be installing all of the Kali wallpapers we type sudo apt install Kali dash wallpapers dash all click on yes and let that run So now once that is finished, we can right click on desktop and select desktop setting. Check out these wallpapers. I'm going to scroll down and as you can see they have a ton of options. I'm going to go for uh, this one, it looks pretty sick. And there you go, we have a new wallpaper. Now uh, we're going to go back to our terminal and install Auto Recon. Uh, you can find the official repo on GitHub. Uh, just Google Auto Recon. So Auto Recon is a reconnaissance tool written in Python which performs automated enumeration of targets and is particularly useful in capture the flags or OECP prep. Uh, there are a number of dependencies that you need to install first so you can go ahead and grab this one liner here at the bottom and install all of the required packages. So you can just right click copy slap that into your terminal. Um, I've done this already because um, it takes a while to run. So now let's go back to uh, the GitHub page. Uh, there are a few options on how to install Auto Recon. You could use PipX, which is uh, the recommended way to do it, but personally I prefer using PIP, which is a more straightforward process. So just go ahead and copy this one-liner uh, slap that into your Kali terminal. So do sudo python and pip install autorecon.git. Let that run. And there you go. This is done already. So now when we type autorecon h, uh, let's see if I can do that. Autorecon dash H is going to open up the manual and as you can see there's a bunch of different flags that you can use. Now since I don't have a live target available now uh, we're just going to run auto recon against um, local host. So we do auto recon 127.0.0.1 we're going to kill it first and uh, as you can see here it automatically creates a results folder Let's cd into it. And here we have localhost IP. Uh, we move into this folder. And we can see here that we have separate entries for exploits, for scans, for um, reports. And these are all automatically generated by Autorecon. All right, so next we're going to be looking into Nmap Automator. Again, just Google it and it's going to be at the top of your search. Uh, Nmap Automator is a shell script and what it does, it basically uh, automates Nmap scans. Again, it does have a few dependencies, but most of these are default in both Kali or Parrot OS, so you should be good. Uh, we can install it by using git clone. So installation guide, we can just do git clone, just grab that. Back to our terminal, slap that in and we'll start cloning. Done. So next, uh, what you want to do is, uh, if you go back to this page, um, there's one liner here to set Nmap Automator to the current path, so it is always available. Uh, we can just paste that. And as you can see, we have an exit code of zero, so we're all good. Now we can type nmapautomator.sh-h uh, for the manual. And as you can see, all these options. Um, I don't have time now, but perhaps I'll demonstrate usage in, uh, in another video. All right. So the next thing on the list will be installing Crowbar, uh, which is used to brute force RDP. Uh, we can grab it by typing apt get install Crowbar and let that run. Press yes. And 
and there you have it. So now another password cracking tool would be fcrackzip, uh, which is used to crack password protected zip files. We get it with sudo apt install uh, fcrackzip. And here you have it. Uh, if we type fcrackzip h for the manual, we can see all the options, all the flags. And do take time to familiarize yourselves with the syntax. Um, again, perhaps I'm going to be demonstrating usage in another video. So right up next is going to be Knocker, which is another TCP port scanner. We can grab it with sudo apt install Knocker. And boom, done. All right, so the last thing we're going to do will be installing Docker, which is a very, very useful tool to have in our arsenal. Uh, do a sudo apt install docker.io, this one at the top. Run it. Press yes. Clear, and we're done. So here is a recap of all the tools that we have installed in this video. Of course, many others have been left out. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and let me know what you think down below in the comment section. See you in the next one.